All right, you guys ready for another contest? It's Friday here on YouTube, Bugs in Cyberspace. Gonna do another contest. Got three prizes for you guys again this week. The first place prize is going to be three blue death feigning beetles. Um, if you happen to win that grand prize and you want something else of comparable value, I'm usually willing to work with you on that. The second place prize this week is going to be for this sticker sheet donated by pdxinsectarium.org. The company is called the Portland Insectarium, a local company. Mentioned them in the previous contest for the coloring activity book. We're doing a sticker sheet this time. Some cool stickers on here. There is a mating pair of slugs there. Slugs are gynandromorphs, which means that they have both male and female parts, which makes reproduction in those organisms quite interesting. Other things on this sticker sheet are a tick. Um, that was a leopard, a pair of leopard slugs, by the way. Centipede, um, paper wasp, jumping spider, tardigrade, bumblebee, and a ground beetle. So a really gorgeous rainbow series of bugs for you there from the Portland Insectarium. That's a second place prize. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different stickers on it. Pretty awesome. And then pay no attention to the white background on this philium, a leaf insect donated by shapesinnature.com. Wonderful stickers and t-shirts and other bug products on that website. Highly recommend you check out their website. They donated these stickers. Jesse from Shapes in Nature draws all of these wonderful, realistic, but very artistic stickers and um, t-shirts and drawings. He does all sorts of things and they're really fantastic. And I always appreciate them donating them to our contests here on Instagram and YouTube. As for uh, how to win these prizes, the way to win them, um, the last two contests that I've done here on YouTube, I've done it uh, two different ways. And in the first way, I requested that you guys ask me some questions in the comments down below. And in the second contest, I had asked that you guys make suggestions for uh, bugs that you thought that I might have based on what you see on my bugs in cyberspace.com website. Um, to see the bugs more specifically, you go to shop dot bugs in cyberspace dot com um, and we did that contest last week and uh, give away some great prizes um, I'm going to broaden it up a little bit here again because I liked both of those kinds of contests I'm not really sure which one you guys prefer but um, I really enjoy answering your questions and filming the bugs so I'm going to uh, in this contest ask you to make suggestions in the comments down below. Uh, ask me any questions that you want. It doesn't matter if it's questions about the care for pet bugs. It doesn't matter whether you want to see the video, uh, a video of some kind of pet bug, um, or um, if you want to know about, you know, bugs in nature, um, particular families of insects or anything like that. I have a lot of um, experience uh, just making observations about everything in nature. I like to be familiar with various insects at the family level, um, not necessarily to species level or to the genus, but at the family level at least, like Vespidae, the paper wasps, or um, you know, with stick insects and everything. Um, the order Phasmatodia or the family, this is Philidae, the leaf insects. I've raised six different species of them. Um, as I often like to say with regards to stick and leaf insects, uh, Phasmids, in a previous life uh, before I was a dealer, I raised over a hundred species of stick and leaf insects. Um, you're welcome to ask uh, questions about me personally, uh, about business, about online businesses, um, about, um, you know, perspective, what it's, what it's like to, um, be a small business owner, uh, working from home, um, 
what it's like to be a lover of nature, um, how I got started with all of this. A lot of these topics have been covered in the past, but I'm going to allow you, because we are a collection of people who are uh, maybe customers of mine for 20 years, and as well as newcomers to this YouTube channel. I'm also going to mention this on Instagram and on TikTok because I have social media presence in other places, but I'm going to try to um, bring everybody together under this one YouTube umbrella um, so that we can uh, answer these questions both on video and it often um, with having bugs there. Um, TikTok and Instagram both limit the videos for the most part to about 60 seconds at the most. YouTube, we are really freed up to have longer videos and I really enjoy this format and I think it brings you guys the most value. And so um, just hit me up with whatever requests you want. At the very end of this contest, we're gonna give away those three prizes and I'm going to use a random comment picker to select those winners. If you guys have participated in my prior contests or watched those videos, and I'm gonna put a link up here, a card, so that you can see that playlist, maybe get a frame of reference, some ideas for what questions to ask or what kind of questions people generally ask. Um, but don't worry about it too much. I'm happy to take any kind of questions at all because I really enjoy um, answering your questions, whatever they may be. Um, over the years on Instagram in particular, you can't even imagine the spectrum of questions that have been asked of me. And I answer the good majority of them. Occasionally there are a few that may be inappropriate or they don't inspire me or I don't think that I can do them justice, or sometimes they're just too complicated. And often the youngest people ask the most difficult questions uh, rather than adults or um, entomologists even. Sometimes it's children that ask me questions that I cannot answer. Um, kind of funny that way, but um, I am always entertained by your questions. I welcome your jokes, whatever it is you want to do. Um, this is, this is for you, this is for me, and this is for everybody who's going to watch. And I always try to answer the questions with the audience's perspective in mind. And so I will look for your questions down below, and um, I hope that you enjoy uh, the answers that I will upload in uh, a subsequent video or two or three, depending on how many questions we get. I think we had a thousand views um, two contests ago and maybe around 600 views the last contest. And um, there were many questions in both contests. And so it is my goal, of course, to be as completely inundated with comments and questions down below here. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe. Those are also two requirements of this contest. And let's have some fun. Thank you very much. Hey, one more thing. I spent a couple hours observing courtship behaviors of my rhino roaches earlier tonight. And I'm going to share with you a little teaser clip of that here after this. Please look forward to the full video at some point here down the road. Um, really, really classic, iconic. Um, ambassador, 10-year uh, lifespan, giant cockroaches. There's almost nothing more desirable in the pet bug hobby than the rhino roaches. High demand, low supply. So please enjoy this video clip and uh, feel free to ask questions about rhino roaches as part of this contest. And look forward to that longer video here in the near future. Here now that he's moving a little bit, hopefully trying to line himself up there. And there's no denying, no doubting that the female is both receptive and doing her best to orient herself. Fortunately, the male has that piece of cork bark on top of him. 
and I think that is sort of preventing him from getting lined up with her properly. And I'm very tempted to pull it off the top of him to make things easier for him, but... Left to their own, they will mate. I'm pretty confident of that. I do want to capture it on film. I've been observing insects and other kinds of arthropods for many years. This is the first time that I've seen rhino roaches courting in this way. And so it's a pretty neat moment when you consider that these things are eight years old. And the story behind this pair, I've told it previously, but since this will be included in a larger video about rhino roaches, I'll tell the story again. I acquired this pair when they were three years old. And during the purchasing process, I had asked the person I was buying them from, and this was about five years ago now, I asked him, well, where did you get them from? And he said, well, I bought them from you as babies. Now, this is the moment that we're waiting for right here. They're so nearly lined up. It's when they are facing away from each other that they usually link up almost so that their bodies are in a straight line, heads opposite one another and abdomens lined up. She's very receptive, but for some reason he doesn't seem to be getting himself lined up properly. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.